Hey guys, and welcome back to the Graded Gem. It's base set. Tom here to bring you another returns video. And we're starting off with this single card, which I'm pretty sure most of you will like. It's a Reshiram Charizard, otherwise known as Reshizard, Rainbow Rare Gem Mint 10. So thank you, Mike, for sending that in. And we'll get that to you straight away, because I know you're very, very excited to see that card. We've also got some cards from... Tyson. So let's have a look at those. We've got the Blue Eyes White Dragon from Legend of Blue Eyes first edition there. Very, very cool. We've got another copy of it that achieved a mint nine grade, the nice rainbow hollow going on in the background. We've got Sangha of the Thunder in a gem mint 10. Oh, very, very hard to come across on camera, but when you do, it looks amazing. We've got the Tri-Horned Dragon. Again from Legend of Blue Eyes. Legend of Blue Eyes first edition Trihorn Dragon once again. We've got Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Very, very cool. We've got Relinquished in the Mint 9. There we go. We've got the Toon Summoned Skull near Mint 7. It's kind of terrifying. Don't know how I feel about that card. The Chaos Emperor Envoy of the End from Invasion of Chaos 1st Edition. And lastly, we've got the Black Luster Souljoy Envoy of the Beginning. There we go. Another 1st Edition card. So thank you very much, Tyson. And next up we have Brad. So let's just pop those to the side for one second. Next up we have whoop, Brad. There we go. We've got Pikachu Munch. In a gem mint 10. We've got a Pikachu Munch in a gem mint 10. We've got the Charizard Hollow from the expansion of the 20th anniversary gem mint 10 there. And another one. Japanese Charizard. And a another one in the gem mint 10. We've got the Ancient Mew from the Pokemon 2000 movie. Is it the Nintendo one? No, it's not the Nintendo one, but it's got a mint 9. And another one. The backs of those cards are ever so cool. We've got the Ultra Shiny GX Magnemite there, the gold Magnemite. We've also got another gold card there, the Gem Mint 10 on the shiny Swablu Full Art. Very, very cool. Not Swablu, Altaria, sorry, my bad. There's Altaria, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I'm not being a moron. Um, we've got the Rayquaza. We've got this awesome Tapu Finny gold card there. That's very, very cool. We've also got a very, very cool Lunala in the Gem Mint 10. Again, from Ultra Shiny GX. We've got the Moltres Zapdos Articuno GX Gem Mint 10 there from Sky Legends. And we have it again there in a Gem Mint 10, the hollow in the background. And lastly, we have the Greninja and Zoroark GX Rainbow Rare, or Hyper Rare depending on what you like to call it. Very, very cool. So thank you again, and let's get on to the biggest submission. The biggest submission for this video. So this is from Ember, the magical ghost that Ember is. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that guys, starting off with a shadowless Gyarados holographic from Baser. Straight away, that's pretty cool, right? We've got the Absol EX from Power Keepers in the Mint 9. We've got a Wolren EX. We've got the Mew from Pop Series 4 in a holographic. Look at that, with a Gem Mint 10. We've got the Shining Mew from the Koro Koro Comics. See a lot of this card nowadays, and it's very, very cool. I love to see it. We've got another Kora Kora Mew, so I'll just pop that straight to the side, because we've got another one straight after it as well. We've got the Slowpoke Domino's Pizza Slowpoke, <laughs> which is amazing, in a Gem Mint 10. I didn't realise Domino's did Pokemon cards, but now I feel like I need them all. We've got the Slow Bro from Domino's Pizza in a Gem Mint 10, and the Slow King from Domino's Pizza. I don't know why they're just eating apples and they're not eating pizza. I'm not 100% sure, but we've got a Munchlax carrying the apples as well, as well as a Snorlax. Do they do like an apple pizza? Am I losing my mind? I have no idea. We got a Snorlax level X that looks like he's definitely about to enjoy some pizza there with a Gem Mint 10. 
We've got the Mankey from Nata Wake. Again, uh, there seems to be an obsession with apples. Uh, that one's not even from Domino, so I, I don't know what's going on there. But there is definitely something happening. We've got Alakazam. Very cool with the Mint 9, that holographic there with the swirl. Looking very, very cool. We've got this Machamp holographic, which is the Masaki promo. We've got a Golem Masaki promo, or Golem, depending on how you say it. We've got the Masaki promo Gengar, who looks like he's on a dance floor. I love it every time I see this card. It looks like he's absolutely raving and he loves every second. We've got the Amastar. Really cool holographic, the fossils in the background. And we've got an Articuno holographic from the Red Green Gift Set from 1998. So that's a really cool card to see. So that's stack one of Ember's Returns. <laughs> There's a few of these guys, there is quite a few. We've got a Zapdos holographic from the Red and Green Set. Darker cards are sometimes a little bit hard to make out, so I'm going to try and aim a little bit more light on them. It might mean a little bit more glare. But look at all the detail in the background, that's so cool. We've got the Moltres. Again, very, very nice, very cool. Good swirls on there as well. We've got the Grand Party Trainer. The Double Black Star promo. And again, the Grand Party Trainer. And another Grand Party. And there we go. We've got the Blastoise Holographic, who looks like he's firing fire out of his... Uh, Cannons, his shoulder mounted cannons there, Gem Mint 10. We've got the Bulbasaur deck Venusaur holographic. We've got the Neo 2 Dark Raichu holographic in a Gem Mint 10. That light is a little bit distracting. There we go. So that's very, very nice. We have the Charizard holographic from Let's Trade Poli uh, Police. Oh, please. Wow, I totally, I was reading this pre-release. Uh, 20th. Let's trade, please. 20th. Gem Mint 10. I can't believe I forgot how to read the word please The Gem Mint 10. Venusaur Holographic CD promo. Gem Mint 10. Followed by another Venusaur CD promo. Gem Mint 10. And another one. We've got the Charizard Holographic CD promo. And another one. And another one. Then we have the Blastoise Holographic CD promo. And another one, Gem Mint 10 there, very, very, very nice. And another one in a Gem Mint 10, very cool. We've got the Dark Venusaur here with the weird colour in, uh, Mint 9 from the Trainer Magazine. Kind of looks like a shiny card uh, with how that looks. So let's move those to one side and we can carry on going through Ember's stacks. We've got the Venusaur Holo promo Game Boy, or Game Boy promo. We've got the Dragonite Holo Game Boy promo. And we have another one. Woo! There we go. And another one. And a Gem Mint 10. I know you're looking for those Gem Mint 10s. Everybody's looking for those Gem Mint 10s and they're great when you get them. Uh, you've got the GR Mew 2. Very cool looking card there. I was trying to get the swirl. There we go. You can see the swirl there. Gem Mint 10. We've got the Lugia Game Boy promo. Which is very cool. We've got the Sabrina's Gengar Gem Mint 10 there from Japanese Gym 2. We've got the Rockets Moltres there. Very nice. We've got Blaine's Moltres in a Gem Mint 10. The holographic on that card is beautiful. We've got Rockets Mewtwo, which, come on, get the holographic in. There we go, Mint 9. Followed by another Rockets Mewtwo. And another Rockets Mewtwo. We've got the Lucky Stadium. Ho oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that there with the Gem Mint 10. And another Lucky Stadium from Kyushu. I believe I can say that one. Kanzai, Mint 9. Hokkaido, Tohoku, Chubu, or Chubu, I believe, I don't know, I'm not 100%, and Kanto, Gem Mint 10, Lucky Stadium Kanto, Gem Mint 10, that's pretty cool, that's very, very cool actually. 
Next up, we have a Japanese Neo 4 Shining Steelix. A card that does not like really to come out on camera, but there we go. Near Mint 8. Followed by a Dance Neo Imakuni <laughs> CD promo. <laughs> what is that card? <laughs> Gem Mint 10. Very, very odd, but very cool. We've got the Exchange, please. Exchange Trainer Holofoil back. Wait, Holofoil back? Oh, what? Okay, that's really cool. The back of that card is a Holofoil. Very nice. I like that a lot. Uh, we've got a Reverse Foil promo for Pichu. Gem Mint 10. We've got the Rockets Mewtwo EX from what I can only presume says Rocket Gang Strike Back. We've got the Red Steel EX Holographic in a Gem Mint 10. We've got the Suicune EX Holographic Gem Mint 10, which I used to say is Sewer Soon from Magma vs. Aqua. Articuno EX from Flight of Legends there, and it is a legend with a Gem Mint 10 grade. We've got the Zapdos matching its Gem Mint 10 grade as well, and look at that hollow. Really, really cool. Very, very nice. We got the grass type Dragonite EX Delta Species. Very cool. And that was a mint nine. I had to check what grade that was there. I misread it for a second. I got the shiny, shiny Mew there, the Gold Star Mew. Very, very nice. We got the Gold Star Groudon there. I'm surprised the uh, Connor graded Groudon didn't want to make this video literally just for the Gem Mint 10 Gold Star Groudon. We've got a Charizard Holographic from Advent of Arceus, first edition, Gem Mint 10. We've got a Registeel Gold Star from Mirage Forest. We've got a Charmander Hollow from Stormfront, first edition, Gem Mint 10 there. All the way back to 2008. We've got the Charmeleon. And we've got the Charizard from Stormfront as well. I actually really like the design of those cards with the kind of yellow top corner there. Very, very nice. And we've got another Charizard. We've got a lightning type Charizard Delta Species from Miracle Crystal. And just to top it off, you know, we've got another one, but this time in a Gem Mint 10, Ember. That is a cool result. I like that card a lot. Very good results so far. We're following that up with a Mewtwo EX from an expansion pack there, Gem Mint 10. We've got the Gift Box Mew in a Gem Mint 10, all the way back from 2005. We've got the Poker Park Blue Ente promo in a Mint 9. We've got the Poker Park Blue ho -Oh promo in a Gem Mint 10. We've got the Suicune promo in a Gem Mint 10 as well. The cool little holographic there. We've got the Kyoga, who obviously beats Groudon. I mean, the typing is just way too good in a Mint 9. We've got the Raikou in a Gem Mint 10. We've got the Lugia. Oh, wow, I like, I like that effect, actually. We've got the Groudon there. We've got a Taurus. You know, the legendary Pokemon that is Taurus. We've got the Rayquaza Holographic. Pokeparks Torchic. Oh, Pokeparks Pikachu. There we go. We've got Pokeparks Latias. And obviously the Latios in a Gem Mint 10. We've got Wisma in a Gem Mint 10 there. A Munchlax holographic. A Jirachi or Jirachi Gem Mint 10. A Mew, a birthday Mew, I believe. Or, it, well, not a birthday Mew, but like, um, you put your own name in, Mew, Gemint 10. And a Gemint 10 Pokemon Center black and white promo with the Evolutions on there. Very, very nice. Next up, we have the Pokemon Center promo again. We've got the Championship Arena Autumn Battle Road. There we go, in a Gemint 10. We've got the Houndoom Holographic Tyrantos Construction Standard Deck in a Gem Mint 10. We've got Reviving Legends First Edition Tyranitar. I believe this is a Prime card. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure the name. I, I, I know Connor collects them. <laughs> That's what I remember. Um, we've got the Suicune and Entai Legend from Reviving Legends Gem Mint 10. And we have the bottom half of the card as well. We've got the Celebi Clash of the Summit. 
So I believe these big head ones are all the prime cards. Gengar from Lost Link. We've got Venusaur Hollow Expedition First Edition, Gem Mint 10. And another one. We've got a Butterfree Hollow Expedition First Edition, Gem Mint 10. And another Gem Mint 10. We've got the Arbok Expedition First Edition Holographic Gem Mint 10. The Vile Plume Expedition Gem Mint 10. The awesome, awesome artwork of the wheezing there in a Gem Mint 10. That is phenomenal artwork. I really, really like that. Uh, Meganium Gem Mint 10 or Meganium or Mega Neum. Uh, I don't know how you say it. Uh, best Gem Mint 10 there. I said Meganium. Uh, Charizard Holographic from Expedition First Edition in a Gem Mint 10. Pretty good. And another one. And another one. Lots of Charizard holographics from Expedition First Edition. There, and we're going to carry on with Expedition First Edition in stack number three with a Ninetales Gem Mint 10, a Rapidash Gem Mint 10, a Typhlosion Mint 9, followed by a Typhlosion Gem Mint 10. We have a Magby Gem Mint 10, a Blastoise Gem Mint 10, Another Blastoise and a Gem Mint 10. Another Blastoise and a Gem Mint 10. A Plasticine Polyrath there in a Gem Mint 10. An Alakazam in a Gem Mint 10. The Gengar again in a Gem Mint 10. Oh, and another one. So, so many of these Gem Mint 10s. Got a Mewtwo Holographic Gem Mint 10. And another one. And another one. Oh, no, it's a Mew, sorry. <laughs> I read Mew on my brain. Went, yeah, that's a Mew too. Now it's a Mew. There we go. Then we got the Cloister. I really like the way the hollow covers up the, the rocks in the background there. Gem Mint 10. We have the Kingler. We got the Feraligator. Gem Mint 10. Followed by a, another Feraligator, Gem Mint 10. Very, very nice. We've got some more Expedition in this stack. We've got the Gem Mint 10 Raichu. Another Gem Mint 10 Raichu. A Gem Mint 10 Pichu. A Mint 9 Pichu. A Gem Mint 10 Ampharos. A Mint 9 Dugtrio. Machamp, Gem Mint 10. Golem Gem Mint 10. A Golem Gem Mint 10. Oh, best Pokemon in the game. Pidgeot there, Gem Mint 10. Covered in the red kind of fire there from the sunrise or the sunset. A Gem Mint 10 Fero. A Gem Mint 10 Clefable. A Dragonite Gem Mint 10. So these are still from Expedition First Edition. Another Gem Mint 10 Dragonite. A Mint 9 Tyranitar, followed by a Gem Mint 10 Tyranitar, a Gem Mint 10 Skarmory, a Ho-Oh from Split Earth, first edition Gem Mint 10, a Celebi from Mysterious Mountains, Mint 9, and then we get on to a McDonald's promo card, which is a Gem Mint 10 Chikorita Holographic. I really, really like all of the McDonald's set cards, and they're possibly a set that I'm going to have to buy at some point just because of how much I really, really do like them. We've also got the McDonald's Gem Mint 10 Charmander, the McDonald's Gem Mint 10 Squirtle, the McDonald's Gem Mint 10 Pikachu, Gem Mint 10 Slowpoke, a Gem Mint 10 Lavatar. A Psychic Energy McDonald's Gem Mint 10. And another one. We've got the Lightning Energy Gem Mint 10. The Water Energy Gem Mint 10. The Fire Energy Gem Mint 10. The Grass Energy Gem Mint 10. Another Grass Energy. Then we go on to Pretend Gyarados Pikachu, or the Poncho Pikachu Gem Mint 10. A Mega Charizard uh, Y, I think. Yeah, Mega Charizard Y. 
We've got the Rayquaza Poncho. The shiny Rayquaza Poncho in a gem in 10. We've got a pretend boss Pikachu, gem in 10. Uh, team Rainbow Rocket, uh, Ambition. Pretend boss Pikachu there from Team Galaxy. Gem in 10, I think it's Team Galaxy, I think that's what they're called. Uh, Mega Charizard X, Gem in 10. And lastly, the Mega, uh, no, not a Mega, definitely not a Mega, it's not a Mega Gyarados, is it? it's a Magikarp, Gem Min 10, Poncho Pikachu. So, thank you very much, Ember, for a ridiculous submission. Thank you to the guys at the start as well. And thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this, if you want to have a look at ways to grade cards or anything like that, go to check out the Graded Gem website. Make sure you check out our other videos as well. Message us on Facebook. Do whatever you like. Check out the Instagrams for Graded Grade on Graded Gem and myself, Base at Tom, as well as anyone that's appeared in the video. And as always, I'll leave it to the outro. Bye bye. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks guys.